I am the first in Tucson to do the extended wear devices. The philosophy behind the extended wear is if you have it very close to the eardrum and use the physical traits of the ear that you don't need all of the other digital technology. And so the extended wear is completely invisible. It has an extended battery. I insert it and every two to four months I change it out. You don't have to clean them, you don't have to change the batteries, you don't have to have daily care with them. Um, sometimes, you know, the price can be a little prohibitive for some patients, but it has been very good for the people who have decided that is the option for them. It really is a fun and fascinating way to fit them because I, I do take my sizers and I go all the way down the ear canal and there's a little suture wire on the end and I actually touch the eardrum and that tells me I'm four millimeters away from the eardrum. All of the, these happen to be younger men who have hearing loss on one side. They don't want the cosmetic aspect to come in. Um, we're trying to debunk the whole age-related thing with, with hearing loss, but it, it still persists. The biggest draws are, yes, the cosmetics of it, but he doesn't have to clean it. He doesn't have to change the battery. Um, you know, once we have a good fit, he can shower in it. Mm -hmm. It just goes in and that's it. He can change the volume if he needs to, and he can put it to sleep. So while he's sleeping, he can have a little bit better hearing than without it. He can also turn it off if he ever decides to have it as hearing protection. It's, uh, I notice at my work, it's, uh, yeah. it's proving a lot. I can hear my boss and everything. Mm -hmm. Oh good. Yeah, so mm -hmm. it's working great. Awesome. It does help with the credibility with my patients knowing that I am always searching and trying to find ways to um, help them hear better.